junkyard crew look what hit the driveway this beautiful monday man a b-u-i-c-k man what y'all think of the skylark man 72 dusty and shit yeah yeah but for the most part man it's a whole car oh it's velcro down we're gonna leave it like that man man i couldn't i couldn't resist this one man i had to bring it on to the yard and i even love how it look like this boy i drive this motherfucker raggedy in the mug boy that shit running up Let's see if we can pop this mug open. Hold on, I gotta use two hands for these old schools. some cosmetics boy but but we in the game with this thing man we might have to throw a transmission in the tube but that's no smoke y'all know i got a man for that so uh this thing will be on the road quicker than uh shit they're gonna be but i just need the transmission down um uh, man let's see Scary boy, it's fast. And you know, we might just have to look at the linkage and shit, see if it's just not uh, sat right, boy, cause ooh, yeah. Hey man, y'all know what it is. Colorado got whipped. Big ass tires on this mud.
time clock. But uh man, your boy's so happy with this Buick. And it really was an unexpected purchase, man. And when I say unexpected, I really just want to go look at the car um, and just kind of check it out, see what they was talking about. The price was already cool. So I said, I might as well take a look. And man, when I got there, man, the people said somebody had test drove it before me and they were on the test drive when whenever the transmission started acting up. So I'm pretty sure whoever was driving it just, I'm gonna say they broke out, should have been driving that shit like it was a damn old school, not like a goddamn Hellcat. And it would probably still be cool. But uh, man, as y'all could tell from the video, man, Buddy Buddy was old. And he was just getting to the point where he can't really do too much work to the cars no more. He's trying to get rid of some shit. So, at least he knows he's going to a good home. You know, your boy Junkyard Jerry's gonna take care of the Buick. And it is the first Buick in the collection. So it might just have to stay. But I mean, as far as work to it, I'm going to say cosmetically is really what it needs. And I'm going to take it to my man's up the street here to get the transmission looked at. So once that transmission, uh, the transmission man does his thing and my shit comes back uh, ready to rumble, I'm actually going to put that thing in the streets one time because it rides really, really good. Um, and man, 72 Skylark, ooh, ooh. It's just something I didn't think I would uh, find for a damn 2010 price, man. And I'm gonna say that's exactly what it was, a 2010 price. Man, I always say I ain't gonna be buying no more projects, but you know me, as long as I can get that mug moved around with no smoke and it'll start up, I'll take it. So right now in the collection, I think it's what, 14 or 15 cars, I'd have to double count. But uh, out of all of them, only two of them don't run. That's that damn Delta because it was burned up in that white Caprice. So we got to get that white Caprice on the road out of my garage so we can put that bird in there and get this damn um, Skylark under the carpool. So the El Camino is probably about, I'm going to say 90% done. So we really just got all the little stuff to do to the car left and it will definitely be a daily driver. Boy, this Malibu's been pretty good to your boy too, man. My man did a good job swapping this motor. And uh, shit, nobody wanted to buy this. So shit, I'm gonna drive this and save me some gas money and get these old schools all the way right. So uh, I think I'm gonna chill on the old school daily driving. I'm gonna do more of a, shit, ripping and running in this damn Malibu. We'll, we'll get a little more work on this old school. My bad, y'all, man. Y'all know the police. You gotta keep a good eye on them, man. I don't, I don't be having time to deal with them. Um, but yeah, man, the Buick, really, really happy with it. So uh, we got the 70 Le Mans, 72 Skylark, and a 78 El Camino, all three 70 cars. Um, and man, them 70 cars, man, they are pretty goddamn solid. And man, y'all know how we do at the junkyard. It ain't nothing to bring something in, man. As long as we got some room for it, shit, we'll park that bitch somewhere. And uh, with that being said, man, y'all know we love this old school shit, man. It's really a lifestyle. And it don't matter how long it take your car to get done, man. Because when I'm telling you, I'm talking to these guys that's double my age, 60 years old. Talking about I didn't had it for the last 40. And now that I'm about to retire, I'm about to get it right. Shit. So I'm really not in too bad of a position, man. And all the old heads... I always tell me, man, just hold on to them. Prices are not going down. And, uh, shit, you came and found this one that you wanted, so somebody will definitely come and find you and want your shit. So make sure your whip gun is right when they come. And, man, you know me, I got a, I got a hard time selling some shit. I'm hoarding some old schools, man. I don't want to sell shit. I don't got to. So, uh, with that being said, man, Colorado got whips. We'll come back live from the driveway tomorrow, man. It's raining like a mug. We'll see what we got to do. Um, I'm gonna get a lot of this shit out of my driveway. At least get it put up now before. Uh, shit, I just need to get some of that shit up out of my way. I got so many parts and this and that and this there and that there. So uh, I cleaned out the shed, made a little bit of room for some stuff, and then pulled out a gang of the uh, other rims that I'm gonna get rid of. So I got like three sets up for sale right now. The stocks that came off the Elko. Some Keystone Classics that I bought with all the other parts from another Elko a minute ago. I think I put the stock I rocks up for sale too, so 
we'll see what those do, if those bust any moves or not. Anything else for you guys? And man, y'all seen me searching high and low for an old school. I went to Wyoming, Mexico, all around the Denver area, man. And I fucked around about an old school that was damn near 10 blocks away from my house. So, hey, y'all know what that one is. But with the Buick, man, the motor feel real good, nice and strong. And uh, we're going to do what we got to do to that thing. It came with all the all the books to order my parts and, and stuff like that. And I got to pop that trunk and see what else is in the back. As far as that, man, we're going to get that top done, we're going to get that body work done, and we're going to get that transmission done, and, uh, man, if a set of these IROX I got fit, we're going to throw them on there, man, and we're going to roll that bitch, but we got a few parts to get, like a grill and, and little shit like that, nothing too crazy, so, uh, we'll see what it do in due time, as long as we keep stuff in motion and keep stuff moving, we will be good to go. Um, we need to hit the junkyard this week. We need to see what they got going on out there where we can snatch up. Um, I got to hit, hit this guy back up for the garage door. I'm getting that done um, maybe next week. I just got to set my appointment up, make sure that the door I, I'm ordering is in stock. And I believe that's about it. So, man, let me get to get to focusing on this road in the goddamn rain, man. Get to work safe and uh, on time. Uh, we'll holler at y'all in a few, man. Colorado got whips. And uh, boy, look at this wagon they got right here. Boy, I like them CTSV wagons. They didn't make too many of them. But like I said, Colorado got whips, man. And we out of here on that.